In this video, we'll go over security settings inside of Marketing Cloud. So we're on the Admin tab in Email Studio. We click Security Settings, and we're at Security Settings inside of Marketing Cloud. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click Edit to see what we can do with security settings. So under Session Settings, we have our session timeout, and we can choose 20 minutes, one hour, two hours, four hours, and eight hours. We'll keep it at two hours. We can require secure connections under HTTPS. We can click the check mark for that. We can choose to enable click jacking protection. And then we have our username and login security section. So we can choose login expires after inactivity and we can choose never expires or 30 days, 60, 90, or one year. We can choose the number of invalid logins before lockout, three, five, or 10. We can choose the minimum username length, four, six, eight, or 10 characters. We can allow users to grant account login access for support. What this basically means is that if you create a Salesforce support ticket, you can allow users to grant account login access so that Salesforce can help on those support tickets. We can restrict logins by IP address, which is IP whitelisting. We can choose our IP whitelisting list source, which can be defined at the business unit level or the enterprise level. We can allow machines that aren't on the whitelisted IP address to access our marketing cloud org. We can click this box if we want this enabled. We can choose our identity verification. We can choose our business unit identity verification, browser verification code lifetime, the time a browser can be inactive before requiring verification, and we can choose our last two checkboxes to do not require identity verification for machines inside the whitelist and enable username and password for web services. Down here under password policies, we can choose our minimum password length, our password complexity, which can be one to six alpha, one to six numeric values, and one to six special characters. We can enforce password history. We can define the time that our user passwords expire. We can choose to exclude API users from password expiration exclude FTP users from password expiration, and send password change confirmation emails. We can choose our data export settings. We can choose to enforce export email whitelist, export email whitelist list source, and we can choose our connection types. And then we can choose our audit trail. And when we're done with that, we can click save. And if you don't wanna make any changes, you can click cancel. And that's it for our security settings under administration.